everyone. Yes. Good morning. Um, it's almost 10 a.m. It's currently 9:58 a.m. Ariana Grande's new music video for "We Can't Be Friends" (parentheses Wait for Your Love) will be out in approximately two minutes, and I haven't been to sleep yet. Ooh. If you haven't watched my reaction to "Eternal Sunshine," it is available on the channel for you to react right now. React. It is available on the channel for you to watch right now. And I'm and I'm still currently up because I've been having issues with trying to get the Patreon version up. Why did the upload freeze at 97%? Froze at 97% would not budge. So I have to start the upload over. It's currently uploading right now and where is it at? It's at 85%. So it, it's getting there. I'm so sorry for the Patreon people. I usually like to get them both up around the same time. So the fact that y'all have to wait even longer, like I'm so sorry, but I'll make it up to y'all because I'm gonna do the Zane Lowe interview and I'm gonna make it a Patreon exclusive. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to y'all today. I gotta go to sleep at some point cause I ain't been asleep yet, but you'll get it eventually. Anyways, music video coming out in one minute. After you watch this video, go watch the album reaction. That was an excellent experience. I'm actually so mad at her that that album is too short. It is too short. Mm -hmm. 35 minutes is not long enough for me. So when we get this deluxe, which she's a deluxe girly, so I hope that we get a deluxe. She didn't do deluxe for Sweetener or Thank You Next, but she did with Positions. So hopefully she gives us an Eternal Sunshine deluxe. The extra bright, super shiny, extra ultimate sunray deluxe. This pose is so sick. Anyways, I'm like slap happy. I'm like tired but I'm very wide awake for Ariana. Follow my social medias, they are here and down in the description below. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and of course, click the notification bell so you're always notified when I post these videos. Be a part of the subscribers, okay? So that way I pop up on your feed and YouTube sends you notifications when these videos are up so you can click the notification and take you right to the video. Anyways, here we go with We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. That was perfect timing, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. Oh, the movie. She's referencing the movie, Eternal Sun Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I haven't seen the movie, but because I reacted to the album, I looked up what the movie was about, or I found out what the movie was about, and I guess it's about this couple who want to get rid of each other's memories of each other because they're breaking up, but I guess they discover that they love each other, or the guy discovers he loves the girl while trying to get rid of her. I think I'm gonna watch the movie, just so I can get a better understanding of the album, but I kinda know like the premise of the movie now. Peaches. Peaches? Oh, me. The dog is right here. Thank you. Ooh, this first point of view perspective. I didn't think you would understand me. Oh, so that beat at the beginning was maybe a heartbeat? <laughs> it sounded like a muffled drum like in Dua Lipa song so I started singing Houdini cause it goes boom 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 okay ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. ooh okay -da 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 -da. sorry the the way that the song started it reminded me of Dua Lipa but I'm realizing it might be a heartbeat because she's in the doctor's office how could you ever even try I don't wanna tiptoe, but I don't wanna hide And now we are right We can't be friends But I'd like to just pretend And cling to your pay first Is that Evan Peters? Me and my truth, we sit in silence Baby girl, it's just me Tearing up. <laughs> you got me misunderstood, but at least I look this good. We can't be friends, but I'd like to just be Isn't this the cover of the movie? Like the poster? So 
So she has to go through all of their memories to forget him being a part of the memories. That's literal torture. <laughs> you gotta go through the rough stuff to get to the good part. If you want to get rid of this person, you have to relive every experience, every memory that you love with this person. That's how this video is making it seem. Like, she has to go through these moments to get to the other side. Or maybe she doesn't have to go through it and she, she's just naturally thinking of these moments and thinking what they would be like if you weren't there. But it looked like she was already, like, going through with the procedure because it was red on her head at first and then it turned green as if, like, it started. We can't oh, it's red! But I'd like to just... I don't like seeing her cry. You cling to your I don't want to see her cry. It would make me cry. This was a sad album, by the way. And I did a good job holding it together. Visuals are not helping with that. I don't want to see her cry. Her reality is literally changing around her. Again, she's playing with that theme of like an illusion versus reality. I talked about this theme in the album reaction. So you better watch. You best go and watch it. But I like how she incorporated it in the music video also. Petering on that line of like what's real and what's not. As a viewer right now, I don't know if she went through with the procedure. It looked like she stopped, but it also had started. So were some of her memories erased? Because even though she's home now, the, the necklace that she had turned into a dog collar as if that memory was erased. Like I... She's letting us be confused on purpose, and I like it. Oh, did she go through with it? Strangers. Different realities. Whoa, 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 that was cool. Okay, so she did go through with it. She didn't recognize him. She was with a completely different guy at the end, and he was with someone else. Hold on, I want to watch this again. Or I want to watch, like, the procedure part again. That war painting is so sick. Literally sitting in silence for a few seconds. I think it's funny that she, that, why did I almost call him Edward Cullen? Um, Evan Peters was cast as this role because there is something about him that's very Jim Carrey-ish. I feel like him and Jim Carrey could be father and son if they were in a movie together. I, does anybody else get that? Or is it just me? Like they have certain similarities. Like right here, it looks like she stopped. Like she's wanted to stop. Oh, see, maybe if I stopped talking for a second and paid attention to what was on the screen, it literally says relinking. So it did stop for a second. She didn't know if she wanted to stop or keep going. Did these doctors force her to continue instead of stopping with the procedure? I feel like that's some type of violation. I don't know. Are you allowed to stop mid-surgery if you want? <laughs> like, let's say you're getting some type of procedure where you're not put under. And then you're like, uh, 
I don't feel like I don't want to do this anymore. Can you actually do that? Or are the doctors like required to complete whatever it is they started? Just pretend you cling to your pay. I want to know what she was saying. Was she asking to continue? Okay, so after some scrolling on Twitter, she said, please keep this one, asking the doctors to keep the necklace. That scene was, like, too strong to kind of be forgotten. It made her kind of hop out of the procedure. And she asked the doctors, like, when you get rid of everything that links me to this person's memory, keep this necklace, please. Like, keep this one. I'm so happy y'all able to read lips and use context clues, but I, be, I, I can't. To save my life, I can't. I was so confused. I don't know what she said. Wait for your love. This is so Harry Potter coded. For those who like Harry Potter, in the very last movie, or Deathly Hallows part one, not part two, Hermione had to use Obliviate on her family so that way they forget her. So that way if the Death Eaters came looking for her family, they wouldn't be able to give any information because they don't even know about their daughter anymore. This is very Hermione Granger coded. I wonder if she likes Harry Potter. She's like a theater girl. I feel like she has to like Harry Potter. Like there's something about theater kids who like Harry Potter. Like there's a direct pipeline like theater kid to Harry Potter pipeline. If anybody actually knows, let me know. If she likes Harry Potter. Has she ever been Voldemort before? I don't know why, but I can imagine her like dressing up as Voldemort. I feel like she did a Harry Potter costume one year. So my question is, if Ariana is walking, I'm assuming, out of the building where she got this procedure and Evan Peters is walking in, is he about to get the procedure? Because if he's about to get the procedure, then that means he knows her still. Like, don't they both have to get the procedure to forget about each other? Or does one person getting the procedure wipe memories from both people? Like, if you and I were in a relationship together, yeah, 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 let's use that. <laughs> if I got this procedure done on me to forget you, would you automatically forget me as well? Or would you need to get the procedure also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he walked past her as if he didn't know her and he got another girl. So maybe he's just cheating and pretended not to see her. He really didn't know her because he hadn't gotten the procedure done yet. And he's walking in to get the procedure done so he can be with this girl and not think about the other girl. <laughs> I'm annoying. This was a good music video. I like this music video. It wasn't like choreo heavy and like yes and. It was the complete opposite. It was more story driven. But I think I prefer this over yes and. But I also might just be saying that because I've sat with yes and for a while. Like it's been a rotation and this is newer. But I think it, this was a more refreshing more satisfying video to watch on the first listen. In first watch. I don't know. I might just be yapping, but regardless, this was a very nice video. It was fun to watch, or it, it kept me invested to where I was coming up with plot holes and stuff as if this was like a real TV show or movie, like I was heavily invested. Let me know how you feel about the music video down in the comments below. Do you like it more or less than Yes And? Are we getting more music videos? I know she's doing Saturday Night Live. You know I'm gonna react. You know I'm gonna react to it. If there's a performance, I'll be right here. And you'll be right there. Follow me on my social medias. They are here and linked down in the description below. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Click that notification bell. And make sure when you get those notifications, you click the video and you watch the video and you subscribe to the video. You subscribe to me who is subscribed to the videos and you watch the video and you like the videos and you comment under the videos. Thank you so much. I love you. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.